the decision of Kate Middleton and Prince William regarding the future of their son George has come to light. George, the eldest son of Kate Middleton and Prince William, is second in line to the British throne after his father. Last July, he turned 11 and in the future, he is destined to become the King of the United Kingdom. Buckingham Palace is particularly concerned about George, a rebellious prince who is much like his father. The 11-year-old Prince George is leaving behind his more childlike image and is increasingly showing signs of maturity. The eldest son of the Prince and Princess of Wales, Kate Middleton and Prince William, is destined to be the next King of the United Kingdom, being second in line to the throne after his father. Unlike other royal families, the Prince and Princess of Wales have wanted their three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis to be present at some of the most important royal events, despite their young age. For example, they participated in the funeral of Queen Elizabeth Roman II and the Trooping the Colour celebration on the balcony of Buckingham Palace. However, a significant decision regarding the future of their children, especially George, has emerged. Kate and William are determined to keep him, at least until he is older, somewhat distanced from most royal commitments. They want to raise him naturally and gradually introduce him to his role. Royal expert Phil Dampier confirmed this on September 3rd. According to him, George is being subtly prepared to be the future king. William and Kate are preparing George to face his future as king, but they have remained firm in wanting him, Charlotte and Louis, to have as normal an upbringing as possible, without burdening them with their future destinies. A committee of politicians, courtiers, and advisors decided which schools King Charles Roman III should attend, what service he should provide in the armed forces, and which places he should visit in the Commonwealth, including time at a university in Australia. None of this will happen to George, Dampier explained. Thus, it is believed that the Prince and Princess of Wales will not force the future King to join the armed forces, in stark contrast to the strict upbringing of King Charles Roman III, all indications are that they will likely provide George with the tools to shape his own future, rather than pushing him to take on royal duties prematurely. Furthermore, Prince George is being granted more freedom as a future heir compared to what King Charles Roman III experienced during his childhood and youth. King Charles has spoken in the past about the terrible moment when, as a child, he finally realized he was going to be king and that his entire future was already planned for him. It was a great shock. However, as the royal expert reported, the Prince and Princess of Wales are already beginning to expose their son to major events. George has been seen at several high-profile occasions this year. He attends royal events such as the Trooping the Color, the Coronation, and other grand events, gradually becoming familiar with them. This is part of the Prince and Princess plan for George's education.